In this video, you will learn how to use ChatGPT to enhance the skills of Microsoft Excel. You can use ChatGPT to ask any question related to Microsoft Excel. It will enhance your skill and save your time. So let's start this tutorial. If this video is helpful for you, then please like this video and subscribe our channel for more informative videos. Firstly, open the Google and write ChatGPT. Press enter. Now open on this link. Then chat GPT site will be opened. Scroll down. And here you will find the option of try chat GPT. Click on it. This page will be opened. Now open an Excel sheet. This is the data and I am interested to calculate the minimum value. Excel do not suggest any formula. If you enter the formula, then Excel will automatically calculate the value. Otherwise, it will not suggest any particular solution to your problem. For example, if I click on this insert function button, then it will ask you type a brief description of what you want to do and then click to go. Now, if you don't have any information about the formula, then chat GPT will provide you answer to your question. For example, I am interested to calculate the minimum value. Firstly, you have to select the range of cell. How to select the range of cell? Click on this cell. And here you will find the option of this cell number is N4. Similarly, select last cell. And you can see here its number is N11. Now we will open the chat GPT site. And we will type our question. I am interested to find minimum value in Excel. The range of cell is We will enter the range of cell that is N4 to N11. Now I am interested to find minimum value and I will ask chat GPT to generate a formula. Please generate a formula. to find minimum value. You can see here firstly, I have written I am interested to find minimum value. Firstly, I have written what I want to find. Secondly, I have selected the range of cell. Range of cell is N4 to N11. And then I ask chat GPT to generate a formula using this information. After doing that, click on this send message button. And you can see here chat GPT response is available now. To find minimum value within a range of cell in Excel, you can use the minimum function. And here is the formula. Simply copy this formula. Copy this one. And open the Excel sheet. Now select the cell where you want to display the response. For example, I am interested to display the response in this cell. Select this cell and paste your formula. And you can see here the minimum value is here. So you can directly copy this formula and when paste it here, then it will generate the response. For example, I am interested to find maximum value. Then again, I go to here. I will copy this question and just change minimum to maximum because the range of cell is same. Copy this one. Now paste it here. Now. I will write I am interested to find maximum value instead of minimum value. Maximum. Please generate a formula to find maximum value. I will write maximum. After doing that, click on this send message button. Now you can see here the chat GPT is creating the answer to our question. 
and here is the formula just select this one copy this one and paste it in your excel sheet i want to display the result in this cell i will select this cell right click and i will paste it here now you can see here the maximum value is 21000 so by using these techniques you can easily solve your problem this is the basic techniques now you will also learn some advanced techniques but before that you can also question related to other problems for example i want to find the shortcut of save as file in excel i will open chat gpt and i will ask to i want to save an excel file i am interested to find shortcut to save an excel file i will click here now you can see here the chat gpt response is here to save an excel file you can press ctrl plus s on your keyboard this will save the excel file with its current name and location so chat gpt will provide you answer if you ask any question related to excel now here is the data and i am interested to find the standard error you know that there is no direct formula in excel to calculate standard error because standard error is the standard deviation divided by square root of number of values so firstly we will select range of cell this cell number is k4 i will write it here for your convenience and last cell number is k9 I will write here K9. Now I will ask ChatGPT to generate a formula to find standard error in Microsoft Excel. I will go to ChatGPT and here I will write I am interested to find standard error. The range of cell is I will select range of cell which is the K4 to K9. K4 to K9. Please generate a formula. To find standard error. Now I will click on this send message button and chat GPT will produce a formula. Just wait for a few minutes. Now you can see here chat GPT is typing the answer that the to calculate the standard error in excel for a given range of cell you can use the standard deviation function divided by square root of count of the values and here is the formula i will just copy this formula and i will paste it in this sheet i want to display the result of standard error here i will right click and paste the formula here and here is the our answer Similarly, you can ask any question to chat GPT. For example, if you are interested to insert tick marks and you don't know how to insert tick marks in your sheet. So I will ask this question to chat GPT. Open chat GPT and write, I am interested to insert tick mark symbol. Please explain the procedure. Press enter and here is your answer. You can see here chat GPT provide us answer. This is the first method and this is the second method to insert tick marks in Microsoft Excel. Select all cell where you want to insert the tick marks press 
and hold the ALT key on your keyboard while holding the ALT key. Type the Unicode character code of the tick marks. Hence, by following this method, you can easily insert tick marks symbol in Microsoft Excel. Now we will solve more complex problem use chat GPT. For example, here you can see here, I have full name and I want to separate these name, first name and second name in separate columns. So I will ask chat GPT to do that. Firstly, select the range of cell. The range of cell, this one is the G4. And last cell is, click this cell and its number is G10. Now I will ask chat GPT to provide a formula to separate the full name into first name and second name. I will write message here. I am interested to separate full name in first and last name in separate column. the cell that contain full name range from the range of cell is G4 to G10 Now I will ask chat GPT to generate a formula. Please generate a formula to separate full name into first and last name in separate column. After doing that, I will click on this send message option and chat GPT will provide you answer to this question. If I scroll down, you can see here, the answer is here. Now in cell H4, enter the formula this one. Firstly, I will copy this formula right click copy open your excel sheet and i want to display the result here select this one right click and paste it here now you can see here that it has extracted the first name now i will again go to chat gpt and here is the response for second one i will copy this one Select this cell, right click and paste it here. Now you can see here we have separated the first name, but it is the not solution to our problem which we have entered in chat GPT. Now if we read this response, this formula extracts the characters from the position where the space character until the end of full name in C4. The search function is used to find the position of space character. Now here is the response of the remaining problem. Drag this formula down from cell this to this one to apply to the remaining cell. So we will apply this to remaining cell. Select this one. When plus sign appear, drag it down for remaining cells. Now you can see here Excel has automatically separated the remaining names. Now press this one. When plus sign appear, drag it down and Excel will separate the names according to your formula. So by doing so, you can ask variety of question and chat GPT will provide answer to that question. In this video, we have covered some basic skills and in future video, we will cover advanced skills. That's the end of this video. Thanks for watching this video. Goodbye.